high petals. Brother, is now a pastor. That time I think he was not even a pastor. Back home there. He was also working well in a bank. And uh, the, they came interviews uh, to get uh, a marketing manager. Then the brother was also qualifying for, for that interview. But the human resources executive, he didn't like our brother. So he made sure on, uh, on, on, on the panel of uh, interviewees, he just played around with the files so that his file would not go, would not go for the interviewers. And then the, the, our brother was so hurt. Why am I not also being promoted? But I also qualified for this position. Why? Then immediately after their interviews, the interviews were held and they pushed him off like that. We had meetings in Harare. And he came for the meetings. Then there came a time when uh, we prayed for the prayer cloth. Then he brought his tie, his necktie. Then I prayed for the necktie together with the other prayer cloth. Then in faith, he was putting on his tie on the Monday, believing that the anointing of the Holy Spirit was going to change the situation for him. Don't sign. Don't sign, brother, for a demotion. When they help you out, refuse to sign. Continue fighting and say, I'm not whipped yet. Then when he moved in the, in the lift, right, he um, it was, it was like working in, the, in a very tall building. Maybe, I don't remember quite the floor, but maybe around 12th floor or something. Then he walked in this lift. And then this, this white guy, he moves also there. They're in the same lift. They greet one another, and uh, he says, how are you, how are you? Uh, then he, maybe they identified one another that they're in the same institution, because this was like the top management. This one was just in the, in the middle management, somewhere there. He said, but what's your name? He said, I'm Henry Mandura. I said, um, Henry, why aren't you supposed to come for those interviews for a marketing manager? He said, yes, 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 yes. Why didn't you come? He said, I don't even know. Then as we, they were talking in the lift, he says, can you follow me up to my office? Then he followed up to the office. Then right there in the office, then it was like one of the chief directors. And then he, he calls up this um, uh, human resource executive. He said, I, I have Henry with me here. W what happened with this file? I, I was expecting to interview him. Whatever he said, I don't know. Then he said, okay, can you prepare his file right now? And get it back, get it to, to, to our office. And right there, the interview was arranged. And Henry was interviewed. And after the interview, the human resources executive was phoned. And he was told to destroy the, 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 the file of the person who was given that job. And said, can you destroy that file? We have given the promotion to Henry. He's going to be our new marketing manager. And he was given a vehicle and everything. I preached for him a few months ago. He's now a pastor out there in Harare. That's his testimony. He refused to sign. Even when they, he was elbowed out of the interviews. They, they, they just chased him away. And they, they, they promoted somebody of their choice for whatever reason. But Henry believed. He brought a prayer cloth. We prayed for his necktie. And that necktie changed the whole situation. He refused to sign. To be static in the similar in the same position. I'm saying to you tonight, brother, refuse to sign and tell yourself and tell your brother and tell your sister, I'm not whipped yet. Amen. Until my last breath, I'll fight for my promotion. Until my last breath, I'll fight for my good health. Amen. I remember whenever there's a breakthrough that is about to happen in a person's life, many times the devil tries to destroy. During the time when his promotion was being processed, he went in the escalator, and it, 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 I think the, 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 the ropes must have just, like, uh, something happened in the lift. Then it was going over a free fall. Ooh, then something just happened. It locked up, just like that. And then they were enclosed in that lift. And then Henry, he was there by the other people. The other people began to scream 
And because he, he, he knew what the tie had done for him, then he quietened the people. He was having another brother who knew about his necktie, the prayer cloth, and he said, don't you worry. Then he took his necktie He said, now, you keep cool, keep your cool. I'm going to open the lift. Then he said, in the name of the Lord. Then he used his, his necktie, the prayer cloth, to open the lift just like that. Then they went, Woo. then they went out. That man is there. You can call him, you'll confirm this testimony. 